What's good guys, Matt from Jolly Gaming here giving you another video. This one talking about the rise of the Tomb Raider and how Microsoft are saying is doing well. Um, I'm Apparently it's doing well, apparently according to Microsoft, I'm going to get into that and I'm going to kind of compare it to some other games that came out with the relatively same or round about the same sales figures as this game and compare it to how there is a sort of double standard in the industry when it comes to the company and the franchise of everything. Um, so Rise of Tomb Raider, Xbox One sold 0.56 thousand, so I think that's just about 60,000 units, and um, the Xbox 360 version sold just under 20,000 units. So overall, it's just under 80, 800,000 units, I believe, um, of sold. Now the reason this isn't a bad sales figure by any means, and obviously if this was a Capcom game. They, they wouldn't franchise this because you know they need two million or something stupid like that to franchise games because they're not very smart people at the moment. They are smart, but they're not smart. If that makes sense to people, like their marketing has been hit and miss. And um, obviously, the Rise of Tomb Raider isn't it? is a timed exclusive. Uh, the free, just to give you some more figures. Uh, first of all, I got this off EG chart, so I know it's not always accurate. Um, the Xbox One, I think, has sold just over a, uh, 11 million. No, I think it's, it's in the ballpark of about. 16 million units and the attach rate for the Xbox one is really not great now it's um I'm trying to think black ops no for uh, battlefront Star Wars it's like a five to one ratio or some something stupid like that between the ps4 and the Xbox one version so that should give you a bit of an indication of the attach rate but the reason I'm bringing this up and the sales figures like they're not bad it's, it's 0.76 but they're not great and there are certain Nintendo games that sold over a million and there were people saying it was not selling well. I think Super Mario 3D World sold over a million and people were like, oh, that's not selling well enough. But yeah, I'm not hearing anyone say this game is not selling well enough. I'm not hearing any of that. To be fair, I didn't even hear much of this game to begin with. Like, I genuinely did not know it came out until about two weeks after, purely because for, they came out the same day as Fallout 4, which probably was some seriously bad marketing decisioning on, um, Square Enix and Microsoft's part, and so on and so forth, and I'm just got a scratchy ear, and I don't know, maybe people aren't talking about it as much because you know, PS4, it's not on PS4 yet. I think it's out on PS4 in 2016. It's out on the PC, I think in January. So and so obviously people, it's going to sell over a million units in total. I wouldn't be surprised if the PS4 outsells the Xbox One version. I'm not trying to hate on the Xbox One. It's just that's the nature of the beast. The X, the PS4 is a better selling console, more people have it, and so on and so forth. The only reason people would be more inclined to buy the Xbox One version by the time the PS4 one comes out would be because it's cheaper. But even then, there'll probably be some prettier things, you know, they'll sell it as there's more, there's a better frame rate, there's a better resolution, you know, she has three more strands of hair, I don't know. Um, just, they'll try and sell it like that to set, make it sell more. And um, if you go on Amazon, at least the UK Amazon, Rise of Tomb Raider is actually more like it has it's a higher price on the um, 360 than the um, Xbox One. Like the Xbox One version is only 30 pounds right now, and considering it's only been out just over a month, I believe I can't remember. No, it may even be under that. I'm not sure because I can't remember when Fallout came out. But like, let's just say over a month, no game really goes like 10 pounds off in under a month. Like just over a month in this like in just this society, usually they'll milk it for quite a while. I know it's the Christmas season, and so on and so forth. But uh, these AAA games at the moment are actually going down in price quite a lot. Maybe there's lesser chat rates. And it's just certain AAA games like Fallout is not going down. Xenoblade Chronicles isn't going down. Xenoblade Chronicles, by the way, which no one will talk about the sales, is actually selling better than this game. It's on 1.5 million units, and that's mostly Japan. And I think Ex uh, Monster Hunter is the same figure. I could be wrong about Xenoblade. I may have just mixed up the figures there. But th my point is, people like to hate for no reason and then not give credit. I know I'm making this about Nintendo a little bit, but no one really credits Nintendo when they do something well like this. And when Microsoft are kind of failing, no one's really talking about it as much, especially IGN, maybe. I don't know. I don't know what the reason. But Microsoft are saying it's selling well. Obviously, I don't think it's selling well in the grand scheme of things. I can't remember how much the first uh, remaster, uh, no, the first reboot of Tomb Raider sold, but I'm pretty sure it was more than this. There are a lot more Xbox games that have sold more than this. And their justification for it doing well is because it came out on the same day as Fallout 4. Now, 
Fallout 4, I believe, sold more on the PS4. So these Xbox 360, uh, these Xbox One owners probably, you know, they, they there was less of them to buy this game. And I don't really know what my point was there. But I, I still feel this game will sell well. It will sell well. Be I still feel it will sell better on PC and uh, PS4. I obviously think the 360 version will be the worst selling version of this uh, game. And I, I'd recommend buying it if you don't have an Xbox One and you can't wait for the PS4 version. And maybe you don't have a PS4 version. Um, I think it will be um, PS4, PC, Xbox One, 360. That's how I feel the sales figures will go. Um, tell me what you think. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, like the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you like what I talk about and my voice and like if you like discussions. And also like our Facebook page. Anyway, guys, um, thanks for watching. Have a nice day.